Macron's minister celebrates new access to UK fishing waters for France. The EU is set to press for the issuance of 14 more licenses to be given to large French fishing vessels, so they can be allowed to troll the UK's territorial waters. France has stated through the nation's Ministry of the Sea that negotiations will be held on Monday to obtain licenses for 14 additional vessels, 12 metres or more, that will be given access to British territorial waters. French fishing minister Annick Girardin has now taken to Twitter to celebrate the possible issuance of the new licenses for the French trawlers. Ahead of the scheduled meeting today the French fishing minister tweeted, new licenses for our fishermen. This is a real step forward for their access to British waters, but the account is still not there. Dot quote the French government and the EU Commission still continue negotiations to obtain all the promised licenses. In a further belligerent tweet, she added that dialogue with the British authorities must continue under the terms set out in the end 2020 trade and cooperation agreement. She added, we will not allow ourselves to be imposed new criteria. On Monday the EU Commission will discuss with their British counterparts access to UK waters for these larger vessels. France's Ministry of the Sea stated, Negotiations with the British authorities should continue under the conditions provided by the Trade and Cooperation Agreement, there can be no question of imposing new norms that impede the readability and coherence of our actions. Brexit Britain has a bumper trade deal with Australia in its sights, as one minister heralds a major breakthrough in talks ahead of a possible June announcement. Ranul Jaywardena, Minister for International Trade, told Express.co.uk Britain could be soon add to its growing list of agreements with countries across the globe as an independent trading nation. Not only will the UK government have completed one of its main targets within its portfolio if it secures a deal, but it is hoped the agreement will help the UK surge ahead with its recovery from the pandemic. Armed with newfound agility outside of the EU, the minister added, the Department for International Trade hopes to have the agreement in principle as early as June. However, after a major breakthrough in talks last week, he believes the trade deal will deliver for all parts of the UK economy and be a win for both nations.